Toad was asleep and he was having a dream. He was on a stage and he was wearing a costume. Toad looked out into the dark. Frog was sitting in the theater. A strange voice from far away said, Presenting the greatest toad in all the world. Toad took a deep bow. Frog looked smaller as he shouted, Toad will now play the piano very well, said the strange voice. Toad played the piano, and he did not miss a note. Frog, cried Toad, can you play the piano like this? No, said Frog. It seemed to Toad that Frog looked even smaller. Toad will now walk on a high wire, and he will not fall down, said the voice. Toad walked on the high wire. Frog, cried Toad, can you do Torex like this? No, peeped Frog, who looked very, very small. Toad will now dance and he will be wonderful, said the voice. Frog, can you be as wonderful as this, said Toad, as he danced all over the stage. There was no answer. Toad looked out into the theater. Frog was so small that he could not be seen or heard. Frog, said Toad, where are you? There was still no answer. Frog, what have I done? cried Toad. The voice said, The greatest Toad will now shut up! screamed Toad. Frog, Frog, where have you gone? Toad was spinning in the dark. Come back, Frog, he shouted. I will be lonely. standing near Toad's bed. Wake up, Toad, he said. Frog, is that really you, said Toad. Of course it is me, said Frog. And are you your own right size, asked Toad. Yes, I think so, said Frog. Toad looked at the sunshine coming through the window. Frog, he said. I'm so glad that you came over. I always do, said Frog. Then Frog and Toad ate a big breakfast, and after that, they spent a fine, long day together. <laughs>